Good afternoon and welcome to this incredible opportunity that the Vandy Christian Network has provided me this afternoon to deliver a simple Christmas message to all my friends, family, and compatriots throughout these United States and also around the world. Let me thank Pastor Vandy uh, for the opportunity to be in a network that is named after Vandy himself. We have never seen, uh, I've been here for over 40 years of my life. Uh, I have never seen a network named after a Sierra Leonean. That is huge. And may God guide and protect you and give you long life and to continue to do God's work. And um, I'm humbled to be here today. What makes Christmas? How do you think of Christmas? What memories do you have of Christmas time? It's always been known to be the festive season of the year, time for big celebrations, time to buy a lot of good clothes, decorations, all around the house. It is a time for large family meals, eat in excess, a time to exchange gifts, and interestingly, spend a lot. However, for the past four plus years, Christmas has taken a different connotation for our nationals in these United States. There has been Ebola, now COVID, and most recently, the Tanka tragedy in Freetown. We have lost so many of our family members, close friends and colleagues, due to Ebola, the ongoing COVID pandemic, fire disasters, accidents, stroke, heart attacks, diabetes, cancer, to name a few. At this time, we bring to remembrance the memory of those we lost, especially our frontline healthcare workers, both here in the U.S. and back home. We also remember those of compatriots in Kentucky, those who are in the hospitals at this time for COVID-19, cancer, kidney, dialysis, or any form of sicknesses or disease. Never give up, never lose hope. What does Christmas mean to you today? It might seem bleak, but there is hope at the light, the end of the tunnel. That is what Christmas is all about. Before and around the Messiah's birth, the world was desperate for deliverance from pain, injustice, sickness, slavery, discrimination, hardship, etc. People had given up hope of a bright tomorrow. They were plagued, they were tortured, marginalized because of their race, their color, and all their beliefs. The promise, which came in the form of such humble birth, Christ's birth, threw a light and turned away all the darkness and bitterness into hope, love, and joy. Let the darkness in our lives disappear and let the new light of Christmas shine. To those of us who are in need of basics, homeless or unemployed, there is still hope for tomorrow. In mourning, let us not mourn without faith, but believe God has us in his arms. To those of us who are still full of life and joy, thank you for spreading the love and making those near and far feel loved and cared for. As we are in the season 
let us not lose sight of the reason. And that is that love came down. Love surpasses everything. It brings hope, joy, and peace in spite of a gloomy situation. As 2021 closes, and as we usher in 2022, let the divine blessings continue to overshadow us. Let his favor be on us, and let us learn to love our fellow man and woman as ourselves. So my dear Sierra Leoneans, my family, my friends, and colleagues, in whatever city you may find yourself this Christmas, stay safe, spend wisely, mingle cautiously, and drive carefully. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy new year.